Oh man, I'm so excited. We have mob heads uh, for Bedrock Edition, which is really, really, really cool. Um, I've been looking for Bedrock Edition mob heads uh, for an add-on uh, for a very long time, but I have not been able to find them until now, um, and I'm super, super happy that we have them on uh, Bedrock Edition now. Of course, uh, I could not create this. Um, I'm not that great at Minecraft uh, making add-ons yet. Um, this was made by a YouTuber named Foxy No Tail. Um, he made a server called Truly Bedrock. Um, really, a really, really cool series on YouTube. Uh, I totally recommend it. Um, but yeah, these heads are really, really cool. Um, I think the only problem with them, you can't put them on your head, which is kind of sad. Um, if, if I would love to put them on your head, but I can't. Uh, so, but that's okay. Uh, you can still place them down. Um, it's pretty cool, but uh, the weird thing with with these, very weird, you can sit on them. <laughs> you can sit on them. You can sit on somebody's head. Um, <laughs> it's really silly, but hey. So with these heads now into the server, we have a new sort of adventure. Um, right now we're doing something called head hunt. A uh, head hunt. And the first to 50 heads wins. And as you can see, I have a few right here. I'm um, just going to scroll past them real quick. Um, the dolphins, I, I didn't kill them on uh, purpose. Killed them by mistake of fighting guardians. Um, yeah. We don't talk about it. So before we truly kick off, kick off this episode, I want to show you an update of my house. Um, I've changed it up a bit. As you can see, we got a... Um, painting right here instead of the map. That is because I moved the maps to my base so I could expand them a little bit more. Um, we also have named my our dog over here. Pretty no uh, really cool. His name is Trax. Um, that just kind of came to me and I decided just to name him that. Pretty cool. He's sitting on his little dog bed. It's pretty nice. Um, upstairs as well, I with the heads I have decorated a little bit. Um, we got a pillager head over here. Um, yeah, he, there was a pillager that came around to my base, and yeah, just all pillagers that are watching, don't come to my base, or this happens to you. Um, and we also got a map over here, um, and uh, here's where we are, that green dot right there, and there's where my base is, and there is uh, someone else's base, I believe that is that guy's base. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. We also have a end table right here, uh, a chest with a villager head. We don't talk about that one either. <laughs> uh, over here we have a bigger carpet now. I expanded that. And we have updated our seat as well. Um, this is a uh, snow golem head. Um, it's really sad. I had to kill like seven of them. It was really, really sad. And the and we also have top snow. And you probably guess what I can do with the head. I, I can sit on it. So I, I killed a snow golem so I could have my chair. Oh, that was a weird angle. That was another weird angle. But yeah, it's, uh, my chair is less bulky now. And I, I really do like it. It looks really, really cool. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, now it's time to kick off the episode. And we are going to be focusing on this today. So up here, as you can see, we have the uh, add-on I was trying to add. And I was, I'm kind of disappointed with this farm. As you can see, in my hand, if you're looking at my hand, I have firework rockets. And 17 of them. This is all I have left. This is all the rockets I have left. I'm, I'm sad. I need more rockets. Um, and this I, I, this gunpowder farm only produces like a stack of gunpowder in four hours. 
and it's really, really, really bad. I, I don't really like it. It's not really productive. Um, I don't know if it works on single player, if it's mostly for single player or not. I don't know if I was doing something wrong, but I think it's time that we tear this thing down and we make a better one. So that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. It's going to pain it's going to be really painful for me though because it took me like a few days to build. Um so we're going to have to take this all down and spend some more time on this because we are low on rockets. So over here um in my creative world I have the uh current creeper farm or just like a little representation of it. Um and as you can see this is the exact dimensions of the creeper farm and this is where my AFK spot is as you can see. The creeper farm is in range, um, but it's not working for some reason. Um, and here's the little add-on, other one that I was going to build, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, and I don't know what the problem is with this farm. The like I said, it's in range, um, and I tested to see maybe if the creepers were despawning before they hit the bottom. But I tested that, and they wouldn't despawn. As you can see, I did like a water pit down there, and then a drop-off thing all the way up there. Uh, but in the end, they weren't despawning, and I don't know what was really going on. I My hypothesis now is that the inside the farm there's like uh, ledges that are like this. Not with redstone blocks, but um, with other materials. And they would just spawn, and then there would be buttons on the side here, um, and it, they would fall off uh, by themselves. I'm thinking now maybe we need to force them off with some water or something um, so that they fall down uh, faster. Um, so over here, that's I created a new farm. Um, this is a, another type of far, uh, gunpowder farm. Um, it's more for mobs, many multiple mobs. As you can see, it's already turning on. Um, as you can see, it floods out the spawning platform and they fall down here and they go into a um, Trident Killer, which I have turned off for, for right now. But anyway, uh, I, as you can see, I also did the Spawning Sphere over here to see if it would be in range um, of my spawning platform. And it is, uh, and I tested it. Uh, as you can also see, I am planning to do a quad farm in the server. Um, so I'm planning out all of the uh, uh, lengths for the farm see how much space I need. This one's definitely going to be a little bit bigger but it's going to be a little bit more simple and I'm not going to need a lot of like cobblestone. Um, I am going to need a lot more like redstone blocks and repeaters um, but yeah it's going to be a, a little bit more complicated. So, But uh, after 30 minutes of AFK this is the drops I got which this is already better more gunpowder than I have in the server for the, nor uh, the farm I have right now. Um, it's really, really good. Uh, and when I get four of them, I should get like a stack for 30 minutes. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be really, really nice. Um, I do have all of these uh, other mob drops. Um, I could turn it into a creeper-only farm, but eh, it's a little bit more materials and a little bit more work. And you just get this pretty much the same amount of gunpowder anyway. So um, I don't mind having uh, more drops um, that I could be that I can use for other things. But yeah, um, this is what we're gonna build today uh, times four because it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of work. Back over here at the server, watching the sunrise. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to gather some materials, and we're gonna have to build the farm uh, and destroy the old one. Uh, this is gonna be a lot of work. I'm kind of scared and nervous to do this, but uh, yeah, let's let's just get right into it. Wait, 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 wait! Stop! Stop the time lapse. We gotta stop the time lapse immediately, right now. So the reason why we're stopping the time lapse is because two things happened. One, my time lapse was uh, messed up, uh, and I recorded the whole entire thing and realized that my screen was not in, uh, was not properly 
uh, sized and it messed up the whole entire thing. And two is because the 1.16 Nether update is very, very close. Um, and I realized that we were not prepared, so I decided to build a few more farms. By the way, this is what our uh, gunpowder farm looks like. I only got done, uh, I didn't even finish the first module of it. Um, I totally ran out of resources. Um, I can, I will work on that in the background of the video. Unfortunately, we won't be able to finish it this in this episode. So first up, I built a drown farm, and the reason why is because in 1.16, um, they are making tridents less common. So I had to build this drown farm so I could get some more tridents. I just kind of whack them here, and I get their drops in here. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of rotten flesh. Um, I didn't do an item sorter for this one. I was kind of too lazy for this one. But we did get a lot of tridents. I would like to get a few more double chests. That would be nice. Um, but I'll have to AFK here for a little bit more. Um, and then the second farm we did, this uh, pigman farm right here. Um, so this is not made by me. This was made by another person. I'll put their video in the description. But uh, yeah, I made this pigman farm, and basically, when you place this obsidian block back, it spits out a pigman every single tick, um, and it gets really, really crowded. I have a screenshot, um, I'll put that up on screen right now, but uh, as you can see, yeah, it got really, really crowded, um, but yeah, I'm not going to turn this on right now, because I just realized that it's been going to one of my nether portals, it's been linking to one of my other nether portals, and I just had a ton of zombie pigmen. Um, tried to kill me when I went through. So I'm not going to turn it on just yet. Um, but down here I was AFK for a little bit. Um, we, as you can see we got a trident killer um, and it goes down into an item sorter and I'll try to make this place look a little, bit, little better later. Um, but the three things that we're sorting is of course these zombie pigmen heads. Um, uh, we have gold nuggets and we have gold ingots. As you can see, we got a few. I'm wait, uh, we only have three heads right now for a pigman. We only have three uh, zombie pigman heads, and that's what we wanted from this farm because uh, pigman will be going away um, in the new update, and they're going to be replaced by zombified piglins. So that's why I constructed this farm because we needed pigman heads before the update. So uh, for the rest of the episode, we will be. Um, preparing for the new 1.16 update. Um, so what we're going to be doing is upgrading our armor, getting some beds, getting some materials we're going to need, um, and going to go AFK at certain farms, and maybe even finishing the gunpowder farm if we have time. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Well, uh, yeah, that's about gonna do it for this episode. Sorry for the kind of confusing episode. Uh, I want to cut it short, a little bit short, because um, 1.16 is coming out, um, and I want to have everything ready uh, by the time it comes out. So sorry if it seems a little bit confusing this episode, but uh, yeah. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, I will be streaming on the 23rd. Uh, so if you want to see 
me play the 1.16 update, come watch the stream. I'm going to try to do it. I don't really have a time. Um, it's just going to be on June 23rd. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!